All right, you stab wound fucking tree huggers. Let's get right into it. Um, Soul Eater Shang, right? Um, let's just get right into it. I, no introduction. Let's get right into it. The first move I want to talk about is his rain cancel. Rain in general. So what do you get out of this move, right? First of all, it looks really tight. Whatever, blah, 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 right? Um, when it comes to Soul Eater, a lot of people complain that the damage is not there. Your main Punisher with Shane is going to be this bad boy, right? But it's also going to be this bad boy right here, too. It comes out in 10 frames. Anything that is above 10 frames, this could be your Punisher. For the simple fact that you can get some pretty nice, super simple 28% right there. If you were to land a jump punch, that's 40% right there. Not many characters can get 40% for two bars. There's characters like Sonya that can get 35, what, no bars? Or Garrus, a shit ton for just one bar. But not every character in this game can get 40% off of two bars. So you could absolutely cash out with Shane. But that is not what this character is for. So that's one thing that you can do with Soul Eater Shane. You can do this, mix this shit up, boom. And then super simple, boom. Whatever, right? Damn your 27%, so stuff like this. Same thing with that. And then another good puncher is this right here. Boom. Super simple. 36 right there. Two bars right there. That's a punisher right there, right? But this is going to be your punisher right here for anything that's above 10 frames. Anything that's above 12, it's easy. And it is plus one, but I, whatever, right? So there's that. But that's not the only thing you're going to be using the rain cancel for. I mean the rain move for. We're going to make our opponent block. Um, strings that become really dangerous with rain is this, this, and this. It becomes, these strings become even more scary with the rain cancel. You could do stuff like this. And going for a grab, tack them, and get your nice little 2% going. Doing this. We're doing boom, boom, grab that, and it, it just throws people off. It just does. Like, you don't know, your opponent doesn't know if you're going to go into your rain cancel, or if you're going to complete the string, or if you're not going to do the rain cancel doing it. So, doing this, and grabs is good, but sometimes doing this, and then going for a grab, just becomes even more realistic. It's like, okay, I'm waiting for that rain to fucking come out, right? And it doesn't come out. So that's where you fuck your opponent over. You do this. And then you're going for a grab because you're expecting the rain cancel. So you got to really fuck your point over. And this too. Check this out. So with this, look how much space there is. In I'm going to go all the way. There is so much space in between us. Um, one thing that I like to do is doing this and immediately do stuff like that. Or do this, step back, and then go for a sweep. You know, that's just one thing I like to do with Shane. Um, but in this variation, you could do this and then go in for a slide just to throw them off or let the overhead rock, whatever, but that's whatever. Or do that. If your opponent is expecting you to go for an overhead or this, you do. And then you do this shit right here. I wouldn't recommend going for a grab because you have to go up just a little bit. You can, but I like to just get my plus frames going and stuff like that. So rain becomes dangerous with these strings right here a lot of his strings like take this for this this too like just like that it just happens like it really just happens so there's that using it for get your grab game going or your stagger or your mix-up game for it for example doing this and then look boom lower overhead or low or overhead that it that becomes really annoying for your opponent because they have to guess and they're getting punked they're getting straight up punked right when you're doing the rain stance because they don't know if they're gonna get grabbed or not not only that but instead of going to the rain stance, you do this boom into that or doing that boom slide or boom going to your overhead Good players are looking for that rain, and when it doesn't freaking happen, they get grabbed or they get their shit mixed. And you have safe options. All your overheads, you're completely safe. They get spaced out. 
you're completely safe. But if you really want to mix your shit up and put your nuts on the table and just wait and see what happens, boom. Get yourself that slide. You're risking your life. But, hey, that's what we're working with right now. So, hey, fuck you. <laughs> so there's that. So rain is really good in this variation. It's my go-to move. I love canceling out of it and just grabbing motherfuckers. And making them feel like little prison bitches. It's very satisfying. So there's that. Next, I'm going to be going over is smoke. So I'm going to show you guys some pretty cool shit. Right? So, say Kun Lao does this, right? And he gets the shit knocked down. Now, if Kun Lao decides to wake up. With freaking buttons, he's gonna get hit with a crushing blow. And now, so a boom, what you could do is this step back, step back, and just wait for him to throw it again, and then you get your crushing blow. Now they get, now he's intimidated to like throw anything at you, because people will fall for that the first time, and then they'll start catching on, and that's when you're backing up. That's when you say, fuck it, and get your crushing blow with freaking rain. And just go for it. Why the fuck not? Or you could just be completely safe and start doing shit like that, you know? So there's a lot of shit you can do. Not only that, but you can really throw him off. Like, let's say he throws this shit, right? And you set back, and then, boom, you start freaking... Sorry. You start clipping him with stuff like that and just start pressuring him. People will start hesitating to try to zone you. When you're using the shake smoke. And here's another cool little fun fact. Let's say it's towards the end of the round. And Kung Lao throws a hat. And then I hit it. And then the round ends. And the second round begins. If he decides to throw the hat. Like again. And you parry it. That is a crushing blow. Fun fact. So if he, if you land your, your smoke. At the end of the first round. Or second round. Whatever right. As long as there's another round happening after that. You land it, and then the round ends, and the other one begins, and he decides to throw another projectile at you. That is a crushing blow right there. So it's technically two in a row. So there's that. Um, another thing that is really fucking dope with this um, crushing blow, like, let's say Kung Lao decides to do that, right? And then... Hold on, let's say... All right. You could bait him to throw buttons at you. It's kind of hard to do when this fucker is just weird. All right. So when you land that first hit, you can start stepping back and just bait him. Because if you enhance it for a bar and he hits you with, like, any mid or any high, he's fucked. He's going to get hurt for, like, 27%. Just like that for trying to fucking hit you. And he's going to get hit. So... The smoke mind game is very real. Not only that, but he's either going to get hit with this, or if you just play your cards right, the reptile is not always the most realistic thing to do. It, you are going to have to be on some YOLO savagery shit, but you can get your highs going and you can just really start fucking with him and kind of stall out time because he's scared to get hit. Or make him do desperate shit like teleports and stuff like that. So the smoke game is very real. Characters like Sonya. Characters like even Kung Lao. It, it can be really annoying to fucking deal with. Um, a lot of the time I find myself they start just jumping at me. And to go into my next move. And that is. The Ermac list. So now. Let's get right into the Ermac lift. Okay. I abuse the shit out of this move. I'm going to be brutally honest. It's incredibly unsafe, but I abuse the shit out of this move um, for the simple fact that it just shuts your opponent's shit down. Um, it is my go-to anti-air with, like, look at that. It's just a really good answer. You start spacing your opponent down. And then it does have a crushing blow. It doesn't do the best damage. But it is what it is. Um, using this. I like to go for this Punisher right here. And then. 
that's what I like to do for my Punisher with it. But what I mainly, I mainly use this move a lot in neutral. I space my opponent out and make there be as much space in between. And online, this is really difficult to punish. Um, a lot of times when I, I play against Liu Kang players, because I love that matchup, Liu Kang versus Shang, um, Soul Eater Shang, I do this, and then they try doing that little flamey kick bullshit, and it doesn't come out. You can see that their input error is just all fucked, and then you could get a fucking crushing blow off of it. Um, it's really difficult to deal with online just because like it can be very inconsistent and then you space your opponent out There's no button like for example There's no button that Kung Lao has that can punish me from this fucking range Like what is he really gonna do? He's gonna teleport by by then I could just jump out and just start pimping him from there So just know the matchup know how you, wh how and why you're doing it space your opponent out as much as you can even Johnny's, I play against Johnny's, and they sometimes don't get that punish. They just try to walk up or jump, and then by then I fucking anti air them and shit. Um, it could be really annoying to deal with, but another thing that's really, this is really, really good for is um, wake ups. Every time your opponent, you start shimming back and forth, and you get that Ermac lift going, they're fucked. They are absolutely fucked. They, he did, he tries jumping, try jumping on wake up or fucking uppercutting or whatever the case may be. Especially a lot of people jump on wake up. They they are not getting nowhere near shame, nowhere near shame when they try waking up with buttons. Um, yeah, it's really like Let me see if I could do that. Right. So then where they go right here, reversal, blah, blah, oh, hold on, hold on, I don't, I, I don't know why the fuck he's doing that, but you guys get the point. If he tries to jump forward or tries to jump back or tries to jump up, if you get the spacing for it just right, you could shut all that shit down. Not only that, but you're in a very safe range. And not only that, but if you take two steps back and you predict that they're going to forward roll, you could actually get them while they're forward rolling. Like, it's, it's kind of crazy. Um, It's kind of hard to show because, like, you know, it's just me. But... Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy the shit you can do with the Ermac lift. And then, last but not least, the fucking thing I do the most with the Ermac lift is, for example, let's say I get my plus frames going, right? Let's say I get this. I love to do down four into Ermac lift. This is, this is very real. I don't care what anyone says. It is very real to me, at least. Um, People fall for this shit. At least a lot of people I play online, they fall for the down four. I clip them with, with freaking plus frames. And then down four, there's a bit of pushback. Um, you can still get punished really hard from this range. But it works. It really works. People do fall for it. It's something I do. I need to stop doing it. But it's, it just works for me, so I just keep doing it. And that's that. Um, be mindful of your health bar. Because down four into live can kill your life but I do this for the simple fact that people say oh well, the damage for it is really shit it's not that bad 20% 21% most I could do at least everything else is like ah whatever but it's pretty good if you ask me um especially catching people not only that but you could also end people's lives like this um and let me actually show you so let's say let's say I just grab him right you can easily do that in end motherfuckers life right there boom doesn't do the most damage but trust me I have clutched motherfuckers out like this so there's that so that is the Ermac lift um, the last move is I want to say reptile it is absolutely the reptile move um and that I kind of went over it just a bit um ways of setting up the reptile kick is if you do this 
You're in you're in the perfect range. Ah uh, wait, uh, hold on. 